Ambition Seminar. A few years ago, I went to this hypnosis seminar. I have been to a lot of hypnosis seminars. You always learn something new. And this is no different. The main structure of this is to build up ambition. The guy teaching the seminar said that everybody has an ambition instinct that very few people have it fired up to any degree. Many people have their ambition hijacked by other people. Corporations, movements, religions, and to an extent, even patriotism. If you can capture and lead the ambitions of thousands or millions of people, you can rule the world. Anyhow, we did a lot of ambition building exercises. He told us that when you journal about your ambition every day, it will slowly build your ambition muscle. I used to do a lot of bike riding. I would love riding up and down hills. And and in a weird way, I liked going uphill more than I liked going downhill. The slow, steady grinding. When you are really focused on what you are doing. When you can apply such intense effort to something. When you have a clear, blatant goal in front of you. And you just keep grinding toward that goal. One theory of human nature is based on our instincts. That way back in the day of hunters and gatherers, we were very hierarchically organized. Of course, there's only circumstantial evidence for this, so if you don't want to believe this, that's okay. But the theory says that the top hunters produced the most calories. And because they consistently produced the most calories to the tribe, in exchange for that, they got the most appreciation, respect, and admiration. And this, of course, added up to real status. Real, tangible status that, of course, drove female attraction. This would create a very efficient system. All of the dudes would be competing to become the best hunters, which means they would produce the most calories to the tribe. And the best hunters, because of their status, would have the most sex with the hottest, most beautiful young cave ladies. Any tribe configured like this would be most likely to outpopulate any other tribe with any other different configurations. And you can see echoes of this structure everywhere in the world today. Competition and the hierarchies that are based on that competition. Because we are descended from the winners of the daily productivity contest. Imagine what it must have been like back then being a young and up-and-coming caveman. To dream of the day where you could one day demonstrate your skills to society. To dream of the day when you could demonstrate what you could produce. To dream of the things that you could do one day. To fall asleep with that burning desire in your chest every night. To prove to the world who you really are. To prove to the world what you can really do. To prove to the world what you are truly capable of. Of course, riding down hills is fun, but in a different way than riding up hills. But maybe the best part is when you can rest up on top. When you have a good view of what you've just accomplished. Where you can catch your breath and feel a sense of pride for your efforts. And then, to paraphrase a line from the song Helter Skelter, to turn around, go back down, and do it again. The guy in the bike shop where I used to take my bike to get fixed said he hated hills. He would ride an extra 10 miles just to avoid going up and down a hill. But hills are kind of like obstacles. If you avoid them, if you go around them, you don't learn very much. You don't improve very much. You don't grow very much. But just like Marcus Aurelius said, the obstacle is the way. The guy teaching the seminar did a lot of covert hypnosis. Not only did we do a lot of journaling during the seminar, but this guy teaching the seminar told a bunch of confusing stories. And these stories were designed to implant a sense of ambition into the viewer. So you can build your ambition every day. Even when you dream about a better future, you are building your ambition. 
And when you start to write down in your journal every day about your ambition, you are firing up your ancient ambition instinct. And pretty soon, your ambition will be so big that you cannot ignore it any longer. That's when you will be compelled to grind your way into your future, to bigger and better places, to deeper and more satisfying relationships, and bigger and bigger empires. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment in order to expand your ambition to achieve massive levels of financial success and irresistible attraction. Please visit mindpersuasion.com.